that go to class and stuff, but like this is a half hour long. <laughs> plus I have a five minute video, plus I haven't even talked about the costumes and stuff yet, so this is gonna be a really long review. This is gonna be hell to edit, but we're, we're gonna do it. Oh gosh, I'm gonna mess. This is gonna be like an hour long review. I'm just gonna make a review of Spongebob that is the length of the music. Jillian, do your Spongebob review. Please. I want to review a little musical I saw called the Spongebob musical. It's actually called Spongebob Squarepants now, which kind of bothered me. My sweet mates can also probably hear me right now and I don't care. Yeah, I'm right. Do, doing a YouTube review for the Spongebob musical. I don't, I don't really have time to be straight. Yeah. I have class in 20 minutes. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. And it's been a rough day, but we're not gonna go into that. There was too much stuff about Plankton being tiny. He's like, can you call me big guy? And I was like, I just felt uncomfortable. Before the song starts, Pearl comes out and she's like, oh daddy, what dress should I wear when I meet the electric skates? And she comes out with like basically like two prom dresses. And um, Spongebob holds them. <laughs> and then he just like takes them. And I was like, oh my gosh, if Ethan Slater wears a dress for this number, I will die laughing and he literally takes the hanger puts it over his head like he's wearing one of the dresses and then Mr. Krebs is like oh this is not for you my boy because he's like showing Pearl all his stash of money and so um Spongebob with the dress on is just like for the entire number and I thought that that was really funny. Okay so you got the one guy on roller skates and then the two guys on skateboards and at one point um one of the on um, one of like Pearl's friends goes up to one of the electric skates like can you sign my skateboard and he's like no but I can ride and he takes it puts it on top of his skateboard does a handstand across the stage and then jumps off and flips the skateboard and lands on the skateboard I was just like you are a magical human being growing up watching Spongebob I always remember being like why is Mr. Krabs's daughter a whale we're looking up a YouTube video that a 10 year old made that was giving us a walkthrough guide on how to find all of Patrick's socks and we're getting all these spatulas. I'm not a loser. Let's talk about I'm not a loser, shall we? Why is the lighting terrible? I'm just realizing this. We're relocating. So Squidward has like this little monologue, which side note, I love that I'm a pretty squid mama line a little more than I should. I love Spongebob growing up. But you know, thinking about it, once I got to be like 10, 11 years old, I kind of couldn't watch it anymore because the character Spongebob bothered me so much. Like I totally started relating to Squidward. Like around the time I saw Mary Poppins on Broadway. I didn't say anything. I'm not a loser. Oh, my point. In this monologue, he says a lot, he's like, oh, all the other fish calling me loser. To this day, that word, that's still my trigger word. And I don't like that line. So like besides the fact that the electric state's calling Squidward a tr uh, loser is the trigger for the song I'm not a loser. So I don't know if they're just trying to be meta but like I don't like I wasn't offended by it. I wouldn't say like I was like oh as somebody who like actually gets triggered by things I'm offended by that line being in there. It's just like it just it felt un awkward and unnecessary. Hearing I'm not a loser. Squidward gets his sparkly uh, tails put on. I shouldn't say he gets his tails put on in a show that has fish in it, but um, basically Squidward is an octopus and gets thrown his clarinet. And then I was like, oh, but like Gavin's a lefty, so that makes sense. Pink tap shoes with sea anemones on them and sea anemones on their hands and sea anemone showgirl headdresses. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I relate to Squidward way more than I should. I hate my son. The other shirt looked like an Under Armour shirt to me, whereas this shirt looks like a sweater climbing through those ladders and like singing upside down and backwards and what are you doing child I was like it was wild and it was amazing and I'm really gonna have to edit this video down but yeah I'm like yeah Jaylene can sing and then they're like Squidward you're gonna play clarinet right he's like okay um so let's let's talk like move their arms like this when they're walking i think it was here it was my middle name there's like one part where like sandy does a cartwheel and then spongebob does a cartwheel and then patrick is like hey and then just like brings his arms around and does do the cartwheel and i thought that was really funny i found like your avalanche maker we're gonna make an avalanche i'm still obsessed with i'm not a loser choreography tap i gavin the tap dancing with two fake legs attached to him like what? With two real tap shoes on his legs. Like, what? I- ah! Danny still wears the shirt. Actually, that's a lie. Just, like, in general, the character of Spongebob bothers me because I am Squidward. But, uh, yeah. All in all, I, I enjoyed it. I feel like I'm too old to be enjoying it. You know, with Mary Poppins, I'm like, I'm sorry I keep going back to Mary Poppins. I'm not wearing it.
I don't know how to explain it because like I still like the show but and I feel like saying like oh I feel like I'm too old to like it makes it sound like I don't like it but yeah th that's my thoughts on Spongebob let's go with that Spongebob bum bum the sardines I talked about if Gavin Lee doesn't at least get nominated for a Tony I'm going to be mad but Spongebob is set design, costume design, David Zen, come in clutch. I really hope Tina Landau gets nominated for director just because she's like a woman, but like also the show's really good. Conceiver. That is the word I was looking for. Hey! Sorry for bringing up Mary Poppins so much. <laughs> Most of the scenes, except for when Mary flies over the audience, all of the scenes I remember have Bert in them, but so like I, I specifically remember like Bert walking over the proscenium and stuff in time. And so, like, knowing that and then going into Spongebob and seeing him tap dance with, like, two extra legs. It's just like, dude, is there anything you can't do while tap dancing? I don't want to make this, like, a Gavin Lee appreciation video. But, um, yeah, just, like, that's just a side note for me. That's part of the reason I was so excited during I'm Not a Loser, I think. That's my Spongebob review. <laughs> I'm a mess.